Uh, we went out to dinner last night. Uh, we went to, to uh, have a steak at St. Elmo's, um, like a lot of people, uh, owned by a Penn State grad, I want to say. Uh, and one of the most impressive things that I've ever seen is PJ ate one of the biggest steaks I've ever seen in my life, biggest piles of mashed potatoes, um, ate the shrimp. I didn't tell him about the cocktail sauce beforehand. And then also ordered a full separate meal of two um, lobster tails that are massive. And he crushed it all. Um, and he said he was kind of enjoying himself because he's passed the conditioning test. Um, he is celebrating the fact that he's passed the conditioning test. That's behind him. He'll never have to run the Penn State conditioning test again. There's some of the more impressive things mm -hmm. um, that are coming together right now. The size of the steak, the size of the two lobster tails, the pound of potatoes, the way he made me feel uncomfortable trying to finish my own steak because I thought he was going to take that. And the fact that he passed the conditioning test coming off a significant injury. He's passed the conditioning test that I passed as a freshman at 285 pounds, that now I'm passing as a fifth year senior at 320 pounds before the steak and the lobster. And he does it. And, and takes great pride in it and has fun with it. So it was interesting, we were talking last night at dinner and he kept saying it, kept saying it to the waiter, he said it to Pat, he said it to me and that was gonna be his deal with everybody he talked to, that was gonna be his answer for everything. And I passed the conditioning test.